All right, guys, uh, welcome to uh, Volumes of a Solid of Revolution. Okay, so we've been talking about uh, integration and we've been talking about area between two curves, and we're still kind of going to be looking at that idea of uh, area between, well, area between two curves, but we're going to extend on that and we're going to be talking about volumes. Okay, so important things to, to look at here is that this is usually always on the AP, having a volume of a solid. Usually you only need to set up the integral, not to evaluate it. In this example, in the next coming examples, we're actually going to evaluate some of them, and then we're going to look at one that's more closely aligned with the AP. So that's really important to notice that we're going to set up these integrals um, and not necessarily evaluate them for the AP exam. Uh, just like with the area between two curves, in order to set up the integral, you really have to draw the figure. Okay, you got to figure out which, again, which function may be on top um, and which one is on the bottom to help us set up our, our integrals. And so what you're going to expect out of the next uh, couple sections here is you're going to take the region between curves. Okay, so there's a region between curves. You're going to rotate it about a line, usually the x-axis or the y-axis, and you're going to find that volume. And there's two ways we can do it. We can use washers or we can use cylindric solids, okay, or cylindric shells. And so that's what you're going to expect out of the next probably three to four lectures. We're going to be looking at the regions between curves and we're going to rotate them about the x or the y axis. And when we talk about not evaluating the function, that's when we change this rotation line from the x or y axis to actually a different line. And so we're going to start with washers in the first two lectures here and then we'll get into, uh, get into cylindric shells. Okay, so let's look at these integrals. So how do we find the volume of a disk? Okay, so we have the volume of this disk is going to be equal to pi times the integration integral from a to b of f of x squared dx. Now you'd say, well that looks really familiar. Okay, I didn't show the proof here, but there is a nice little way we can set this up on where pi comes from and how we get this squared, but I did not include that in the video. Since we're talking about AP, we're trying to really keep it specific to only what we really need to know. So this is the integration rule when we're taking the volume of a disk. Usually it's going to be a vertical slice and we'll show you sometimes when we slice horizontally as well. So in this first example, find the volume of a solid that results when the region between the curve y equals x and the x-axis from 0 to 1 is revolved about the x-axis. So a couple things here. We have one curve, and it's not really a curve, it's just a line. We, we're talking about that with respect to the x-axis. There is a, it's going to be revolved about the x-axis, and we're going from 0 to 1. So our a to b looks like it's going to be 0 to 1. They've given that to us. So that's our first example. Let's look at what we need to do first. So when we look at taking the volume uh, using a disk, a washer, a cylindric shell, you have to sketch the function. Okay, So we're talking about the line y equals x and the x-axis. So the x-axis, okay, so I have the line y equals x and I also have the line y equals negative x because we're going to be revolving this thing around the x-axis. Think about it as spinning, revolving around the x-axis, our figure. Okay. So uh, I've drawn the two lines and I bring the red line down here, a curve, and the dot 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 looks like a cone. Okay. And so here again when we rotate it we're really looking for the, the volume here between that area of space here. There's our washer, our disk, excuse me, our disk. Okay, so a couple things to know. Uh, when we slice vertically, the top curve is y equals x. So there's our vertical slice, the top curve is y equals x. Okay, so the limits of integration is from 0 to 1. So they gave us a and b. We don't have to set the two functions that we have equal to each other, the two curves equal to one another, and solve for x. We don't have to do that here because they gave us the limits of integration. We know the top curve. It's just one function, y equals x, so we have to square that. So we have pi 
times the integral from 0 to 1 of x squared dx. It's squared because if we look at our definition, you have to square your function. Okay, now we just integrate pi times, well, the integration of pi over 2, or pi squared is pi, uh, excuse me, the integral of x squared is x cubed over 3, and we have to evaluate that from 0 to 1. Great thing is 0 here, we don't have to plug in, it makes the whole thing 0. So we just plug in 1. Pi times 1 to the third power over 3 is just pi over 3. Hopefully that makes sense because the radius is 1 and the height is also 1 as well. When you go out to 1, okay, you get a height of 1, negative 1, so radius and height are both 1. All right, so now when we talk about washers, you think about washers, you know, I think when we were, we're trying to screw something into the wall, we use a washer, it's got a hole in it to help us with the screw, it kind of protects whatever you're, you're screwing the, the screw into, um, the washer can help protect. Well, and that's the idea, we're actually going to draw that in our figure here. So what does the volume of a washer look like between two curves? Well, it's still pi times the integral from a to b, and this time you're going to take the top, your f of x squared minus g of x squared dx. So you're going to figure out the top function, the bottom function, square both of them and take the difference. Okay? Uh, so let's look at an example when we have to use washers and not a disk. Okay? So find the volume of a solid that results when the region bounded by the curve, y equals x, and y equals x squared. So here we have two curves. In the first example, we only had one curve. We're going from 0 to 1, and we want to revolve this about the x-axis. So how do I know it's, a, it's going to be a washer here? Okay, number one, I know it's two curves. Okay, we're going from 0 to 1, and we're rotating around the, the x-axis. Okay, uh, and so we're going to set up that drawing, and we're going to see why it looks like a washer here. Okay. So I've drawn the two functions. We have the straight line of y equals x, y equals negative x. Okay? And we have the curved part, y equals x squared, and y equals really negative x squared. Okay, and it's like it's just almost a reflection here, but we're still revolving around that x-axis. So here's my washer, okay, in blue. So there's the washer that we can see. Um, Again, this is sliced vertically. Uh, y equals x is the top curve. You can see that from the drawing. Um, so we know that's the top curve, so we're going to go pi times the integration from 0 to 1. That was the interval given. And f of x squared minus g of x squared. So f was x, so that's x squared. The g function was x squared, so x squared squared is x to the fourth and we've got dx. So now you integrate. So you have pi times x cubed over 3 minus x to the fifth over 5. And again, we're evaluating from 1 to 0. We really just have to plug 1 in here. So you have a third minus a fifth times pi, which gives us 2 pi over 15. Okay, uh, what happens if we take the washer and we move it about the y-axis, not the x-axis. So instead of a vertical slice, we're going to have a horizontal slice. So uh, the way this looks, the integration, it's from pi times the integral from c to d. We've changed these intervals here. And it's not f of x anymore. It's f of y squared minus g of y squared dy. So let's look at an example. Find the volume of the solid that results when the region bounded by the curve x equals y squared and x equals y cubed from y equals 0 to 1 is revolved about the x or the y axis. So let's look. All of a sudden now I have two curves, but I'm not in terms of x. I'm in terms of y. My region is from or my interval is from 0 to 1 and we're revolving around the y axis. Okay? So that vertical axis. So uh, in the next video, we're actually going to show the example and, and a couple more examples of, of washers 
and, and disks uh, with respect to the y-axis, and then we're going to finally see that AP example where we use and we revolve uh, a, uh, an integration uh, or two functions about a line other than y equals x, or excuse me, the x-axis or the y-axis. Okay, so we'll see you for the next video.